What is the difference between a smartphone and a tablet? In terms of screen size and multimedia capabilities, tablets are somewhere between a smartphone and a laptop. Smartphones are mobile devices that have the functionality of portable computers, but in a smaller form factor. Mobile phones were the only means of communication we had a few years ago. Smartphones, such as the iPhone or Blackberry, were the current fads. Then came the iPad, a new product from Apple that ushered in the tablet era. Despite the many similarities between tablets and smartphones, each gadget has its own unique set of capabilities that have contributed to its growing popularity. Android and iOS are two of the most popular platforms for tablet computers and smartphones. Android and iOS are the two most widely used operating systems nowadays. These systems are used by both tablet computers and cell phones. The iPhone and iPad are two of Apple's cell phones and tablets. There are, however, a number of Android-powered smartphones and tablets on the market from a variety of manufacturers. Connectivity is the most significant distinction between smartphones and tablets. Wi-Fi and 3G connection are now standard on all smartphones. A Wi-Fi signal and 3G networks indicate that they are able to connect to the Internet, as well as utilize the 3G networks to communicate with one another. Tablets, on the other hand, are limited to Wi-Fi. Some tablets include both Wi-Fi and 3G connection, although they are more expensive. Tablet A tablet computer is a compact, handheld computer that does not have a keyboard or a mouse as external input devices. Rather of being a laptop or a mobile phone, a tablet is more commonly known as a computer tab or a computer tablet. When a person requires a mobile workstation or a mobile phone, the item itself becomes a significant asset. It sports a touchscreen display and is slimmer than other electronics. This is one of the most versatile goods on the market, thanks to its preparation circuit, sharing presentation, and rechargeable battery. Additionally, the cost of these devices is cheaper than the cost of their predecessors. Physical consoles are absent and their sizes are smaller than journals. Meanwhile, the sizes look larger when compared to a mobile phone's display size. In April 2010, Apple released the iPad, which became the first tablet on the market and went on to be well praised. Since then, a number of companies, such as Android and Windows, have adopted their methods. It offers a wide range of options, but the most common is Slate, which starts at 6 inches and goes up to 10 inches. Slates, on the other hand, are larger in size and may be found in a range of sizes, from 7 to 8 inches. Phablets are little devices having displays between 5 and 7 inches in length. Tablets for gaming and business, as well as books, complete the arrangement and have become a worldwide sensation. Smartphone It is a general-purpose mobile phone that has a touchscreen, the internet, a tiny operating system, CPU, and a variety of apps built into it. A smartphone is a mobile phone with a built-in PC, as well as other features that were not previously associated with phones, such as a practical foundation, web browsing, and the ability to execute software programs. Most smartphones operate in an environment that allows them to execute apps. The iOS operates on Apple's iPhones, whereas the BlackBerry OS runs on the company's smartphones. Operating systems from Google's Android to HP's Web OS to Microsoft's Windows Phone may be found on many devices. A mobile phone must have a more powerful CPU, more storage space, more RAM, more available options, and a larger screen than a regular wireless. Even today, the best smartphones are powered by CPUs with excellent processing speeds and minimal energy consumption. If you're looking to play 3D games or surf the web, you'll be able to do it for longer periods of time with these devices. Cell phones also include sensors like accelerometers and gyroscopes, in addition to the features mentioned above. Whirligigs allow diversions to support movement-based routes, while accelerometers keep an eye on exhibiting displays in representation and scene mode. When the Palm Pilot and other devices began to include a distant network around the turn of the 21st century, buyer cell phones evolved from PDAs rather than mobile phones. The main differences A tablet computer is a compact, handheld computer that does not have a keyboard or a mouse as external input devices. Mobile phones with smartphones can perform many of the activities of a computer because to the smartphone's multitasking capabilities and other computer-like characteristics. 
For example, folks may take their tablets with them, but they're more likely to utilize them at home than then on the go. People, on the other hand, always have their cell phones with them at all times, even while they're working. Smartphones make individuals more occupied since they don't have to look around to see what's going on around them. Tablets, on the other hand, are more often used by those who are able to sit back and relax. Tablets may be utilized for a wide range of tasks in businesses and educational institutions, including instruction and documentation. Smartphones, on the other hand, can only be used by the user and cannot be shared with others. The input and output are always done through the touchscreen of a tablet. On the other hand, some mobile phones still include keypads for entering data into the device. Most smartphones now include GPS, a GPS, Edge, and GPRS built-in, making them capable of being used as a smart navigational device. It's possible to keep a lot of data and media on the smartphone. With 3G or Wi-Fi, they may access the internet at high rates and download and upload files. They may be used to access the internet, snap photographs, record movies, talk with friends, and participate in social networking. Video chatting and video calling are made possible by the dual cameras on these devices. Mobile devices, such as smartphones and tablets, may perform many of the functions of a desktop computer. These computers can accomplish almost everything that desktop and laptop computers do because of two core CPUs and operating systems. Only a smaller screen and the inability to play CDs and DVDs limit their computer capabilities. Many of the functions of smartphones and tablets overlap. For the most part, cell phones can make calls, but tablets are more recognized for their mobility. Comparatively, tablets are renowned for their bigger displays and more user-friendly interfaces for online browsing, social networking, and streaming videos on demand.